back to Ms. V's Corner. We are continuing the series of videos of tech instructional videos for teachers, for music teachers, and any other teachers. Today, I'm going to show you how to add more fonts on your Google Slides and how to make those fonts into sticker text, how to make them into a flashing neon text so your students can clearly see the information on the Google Slides that you send them. Stick around to learn more. Okay, here we are on my Google Slides. Today, I will show you how to create this sticker text lookalike. This is really simple, but I wanted to show you how you can experiment with your fonts on Google Slides. Now, the very first thing I did before I created this, I used the word art. So you'll go to insert and you will click word art. It will appear. You will click and you will type up the word. Let's go with welcome, just like I did. Now, um, Arial is my least favorite font of all, but no worries, we can remedy that. So if you click on fonts, you have all of those wonderful selections. Now, if you do not find a font that you like here, you can click on more fonts. And then you have wide selection of fonts. These are the fonts that I have in my collection. And these are the fonts that are not used um, that are originally on Google Slides. Now, if you go down and scroll down and see something you like, you can click on it and it will automatically appear in your fonts. I have added a few. If it, there is a check mark, means I have added it. I'm going to add a few that I see that I haven't seen before. So this is how you add additional fonts to your Google Slides that you can use in your presentations. So now that I have my word, I will find the font that I like. Let's go with the luckiest guy. Why not? Now, this does not look as appealing as this one, but we will make it super appealing. The very first thing is you're going to click on fill color and you're going to change the color. I Let's use this blue one, why not? We're going to change the border color into white and we're going to make this super thick, like four. Now, it doesn't really look like it's popping up just like this welcome sign on the bottom, but this is where magic happens. If you go to format options, this menu will appear. You must use the drop shadow if you want this to look effective. Click drop shadow, change its transparency into zero, and voila, you have your own sticker text that you can put on your Google Slides to be more appealing. Now, the second thing we are working on is the following thing. Now, I like this one, but let's change this one into maybe so it looks kind of rainbowish. So if you want it to be more kind of rainbowish and I show you what it looks like, you're going to click on fill color and you click on gradient. Then there are tons of gradient colors that you can use. If you're happy with this, you can keep it this way. But since I want it to be rainbow, I will click this. Now you can add the colors here to change your letters, your words into rainbowish kind of color. So I will add a color. I will swoop it right here and I will change it into a red. I will add another color. I will change it, move it here and I'll change it to orange. I will click add. So we're sticking with rainbow colors. So let's go with rainbow colors. Next color would be yellow, add. 
next color in rainbow would be green. Add next color would be blue. Let's go with blue. Next color would be, let's say dark blue. And then we'll add one more and that will be purple, okay? I can change it and have the purple be the last one. Spread these out. And then you will click. Okay, so it looks like this. I can go back and change this radial and into linear. And then you have kind of a stripey effect. You can play around with colors. You understand what I was kind of trying to do here. Play around. I have wasted many <laughs> hours of my free time trying to create different color variations. It is up to you. So this is how you add sticker text and how you change your gradient into rainbow colors. Great. Um, since we're talk, since we're here with the rainbow colors, talking about rainbow colors, let me show you how I made this text. Now, this text is made using a um, extension that is called Magic Rainbow Unicorn Slides. Let's go step by step. For this one, I will not be using word art. I will use text box, open it, and then I can type. Let's write this. Music is my favorite subject. Of course, you can play around with font. And then this is where the magic happens. I'll go to my extensions. I'll click Magic Rainbow Unicorn Slides because I already have those add-ons on my Google Slides. Remember, you don't go to Google um, Chrome extension. You go to your Google Slides extensions, which are right here. Magic Rainbow Unicorn Slides, start. And it opens a thing right here. Now, what you need to do is the following. Click on original rainbow colors. Click on font. Sorry. Highlight your text. Click on original rainbow colors. Click on font colors. Start the rainbow magic. Ta da! Now, you can do the same thing like I did right here. You will, again, insert. Text box. I'm just going to write really quickly. Yay. Highlight. I will now click instead of font color, click highlighter, start the rainbow magic. And then these are the colors that appear. Of course, this is a very short word. You can change it to something less else, just like I did music is the best. And then do the same process. Highlighter, original rainbow color. Highlight your word. And there you go. Start the rainbow magic. The next thing we're going to learn is how to make this neon sign that you can see on my slideshow. Uh, this is a uh, Google Slides presentation that I have made about uh, George Gershwin, since I'm a music teacher. And this flashing sign right here, once I share this with my students, will indicate that after you're finished watching all this information, listening and um, learning about um, George Gershwin, once you click here, that will take you to your 
quiz. In some later videos, I'll show you how to connect the quiz to the Google Slides. Um, this is done in, in Google Forms, but that's another video in making. So let's learn how to make this neon flashing quiz sign. Now, the first thing is first, you must have your background black. So I'm going to add a new slide. It's not black. So let me do this, delete all of those. I will click on change background and change the color to black. So my background is now black. Since I want the colors, the sign to uh, flash, I need to have different colors on it. So the very first thing I'm doing here, I'm again inserting word art. And I will write, click here for quiz. Enter and it appears. Now, I don't like this font, so I'm going to change the font into something thicker. Uh, Comforta works, but why don't we change it into this one? Make it a bit bigger. Click here for quiz. Now, so we, this is where the magic happens. We're going to change our border into yellow. And we're going to change our fill color with the same yellow, but the lightest version of it. Now, it still doesn't look like it's going to be popping up on our page. So we're going to make the outline very thick. Now, if you go to format options and select drop shadow, now there's a little trick to this. You're going to change the transparency into 10. Angle will be zero, distance will be zero, blur radius will be about 50. So drag it until you see five zero. Do not forget to change the color of your drop shadow into yellow. Well, look at it. It is looking like it's going to be really flashing. Now, it's not flashing now before, because we need to make it into a GIF. But for right now, let's change something else. I'm going to insert a shape. I'm going to drag this around my sign. I'm going to change the transparency and I'm going to change the border color into yellow, make it really thick and there's my border. Now I'm going to put the order sent to back so I can actually maneuver if I need to this text in the middle. Now, I do not want to do the same process over and over. Let's minimize it as much as we can. So super simple, duplicate side, duplicate side, and then we're going to change the color for this second slide. Now, the words stay the same. The border is green. The inside fill color is light green. The drop shadow stays the same, but the only thing we change is green color, this border of the actual text needs to be green, okay? The same thing I'm going to do for this one here. Change the border to blue, change the fill color to light blue, change the color of the drop uh, shadow or transparency into blue, change the border into blue and we are done. Now that I have my Google Slides, click here for quiz, ready, I'm going to go to tall tweets.
just like I did in my other video that I showed you how to animate your Bitmoji, select presentation, click here for quiz. Sometimes it take, takes longer, but we're going to be patient. Again, GIF or GIF I don't change, slide duration 0 0.2. I leave the sequence of slides as it is, create GIF, and here we go. If you want it, the colors to change at a slower pace, 0 0.3, or 0 0.4, it's up to you, 0 0.5. I think I might stick with 0 0.4, then you save it and you have it as your GIF. Okay, so you have learned today how to add fonts to Google Slides how to make sticker text, how to change the text into rainbow using the add-on called rainbow or magic rainbow unicorn, of course, um, and how to make flashing neon signs to put on your Google Slides. I will link these presentations, these Google Slides and examples for you uh, underneath. The, in the description of my video, and of course the links to tall tweets, again, so you can have it handy. Hope this was helpful, thank you.